Good morning, everybody. Into the star. And we've done a lot of work on Fukushima. Now, this is crazy. This isn't the first time that this has happened. But it appears as though either the Holy Spirit is guiding us into precognitive foreshadowing and knowledge, or the powers that be are following this channel and then coming forward with their own reaction or acknowledgement of it. One of those two things is happening. As you can see here, we've done a lot of videos on Fukushima, but most recently we did one just yesterday. And the day after this came out, we have this Google Doodle. Now, this man is dead already, but he lived to be 96 years old. He was born 105 years ago. Now, Fukushima occurred 101 years after he was born. 101 years after he was born. Now, I want you to follow the numbers on this because... It all comes together. Again, he lived to be 96. He invented the cup of noodle. And in 1996, now remember, he lived to be 96. In 1996, a giant cup of noodle was placed in Times Square. This is it here. And it was there for 10 years. Now, now this was before he died, because he died in the year 2007. He died one year after the contract was up. It was a 10 year contract. And I want you to notice that this is 18 meters tall. That's 666. And the only article that I could find regarding this cup of noodle was from this New York Times article that released on January 18th, 1996. And that's 666, January 18th. Now, I couldn't find any other information about when the actual date was that this opened in 1996. We just know that it was after January and before, like, May. It could have very well possibly been that this opened on March 11th, the foreshadowed date of Fukushima. Now, follow me on this. This is the cup of noodle image. I'm going to blow this up and do something to it that is going to blow your mind. Now remember, 666. And when you flip and invert this, you in fact get 666 with the O's and the C. Now granted, this was the American version of the cup of noodle. It did not appear this way in Japan, only here in the United States. And look at the steam coming out of the cup of noodle. And I want you to compare that to all the steam that came out of Fukushima. Now, 15 years before Fukushima was 1996. And so why is Google Doodle celebrating the 105th birthday of Momofuku Ando. 105 is 15. Now, if you're still unsure about the way this numerology works, the first day that healthcare workers celebrated Momofuku Ando Day was on January 19th, 2007. That's 119. That's 9-11. Also, he died on January 5th, 2007. That's 1-5. And remember, Fukushima was 15 years after 1996. And it was in 2011. And it is March 5th. And this is the day that their Google Doodle has placed the doodle on their main page, which is what we're looking at now. March 5th is 3-5. That's 3 times 5 is 15. So we have 15-15. They're celebrating the 105th birthday. That's 15. And 15 years after 1996 was Fukushima. And you simply, as I always say, cannot 
make this stuff up. So now they're bragging about it. They're bragging about the fact that we have a YouTube channel that has been exposing this stuff and nobody seems to care. Nobody seems to get it except a very small portion of the population. About 16,000 of you out of billions of people even care to look at this stuff and understand what we're dealing with. So the people that ignore it, they feel, deserve what it is that they have planned for them. So these are the variations of the Google Doodle for Momofuku Andu. And you're probably wondering, what's this all about? This astronaut looking motif with the noodles. Well, I figured it out. The first Japanese astronaut to bring noodles onto the space station, the shuttle missions. And of course, here's Ando here, and that is the reference. Now, the astronaut Wakata began his career on the shuttle missions in 1996, 15 years before Fukushima. And guess how old? Kochi Wakata is. He's 51, which is 15 backwards. And look at the date on this article. February 13th, Looper Kalia. Valentine's Day sacrifice. Now, we get other references that could, given the knowledge that we just uncovered, Point two, foreshadowing of Fukushima. We get Ando looking in a microscope and we see the telltale three elements of the nuclear sign. We see an hourglass, the, the sands of time. And this could be perceived as a nuclear element, a nuclear sign as well. This looks like a nuclear shelter that they would view nuclear bombs from. And these things only emerge after the information we've uncovered with the 666 and the foreshadowing of Fukushima. 15 years before it would happen. Take care and be safe, you guys.